I am not driving it, it's funny as hell. Oh! Oh yeah, I'm the this thing. <laughs> the future is here! Today's the day where we get to test out the full self-driving supervised here in Australia. <laughs> I was very fortunate to be um, part of the early access program. Thank you to Tesla Australia, New Zealand and Tesla. And perfect timing because uh, my wife and I will be heading to Hunter Valley, which is about one hour and 45, one hour and 50 minutes away from Sydney, where we get to test out the full self-driving, not just in the city, but for long distance as well. Oh, <laughs> I did not wear this full suit just for this review. Um, I would as I'm that excited, but today is for my friend's wedding. Yeah. It's so exciting. Oh, who knew? Da -da 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 -da. On the software, full self-driving supervised software. And if I go to the release notes, ah, FSD down under. Oh, this is so good. I love this release note because there's a bit of a humor in it where things are upside down because, you know, we're down under in Australia. I don't know if the Osmo 360 is going to be able to get it, but there is the Start FSD Supervised button ready to be pressed and ready to go. Okay, here we go. We're going to press and hold. <gasps> Tap brake to confirm. car's coming on the right. Oh, it stopped. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. It's just casually driving around my neighborhood. You can't even really use autopilot here because it will lose it. And here comes near 90 degree turn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so you gotta calm down. After all, this is full self-driving supervised, which means I should be supervising and be attentive and focused on what's happening so that I can take over at any given point. But so far, I know it was only about... Oh. <laughs> There's a car incoming, quite narrow road, switching a little bit to the left. Oh. There's a small bump coming along here that a lot of people make mistake. It's fine. We have a pedestrian, none, all good. All right, coming towards a quite difficult roundabout because this roundabout gets very, very busy. All right, is it going to stop? You gotta stop, you gotta stop, buddy. Yes, yes! <laughs> oh my God! Oh, yeah, yeah! Oh, my car, Olaf, is driving by himself. This is unreal. Oh my. Oh. <laughs> Roundabout again. Slow down a bit and then going back again. Okay, this is a place where we turn right to merge into the main, main road, which is the Victoria Road. Um, four lanes and high traffic. Oh. It turned the turned the indicators on. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh! What was that? That was a bit of a, oh, a bit of a slight shift. Okay. Oh, beautiful changing lanes so that we're prepared for turning left. Uh, we're in the middle lane now because it's, it has three lanes and we're in the middle lane. But normally at this point, I would turn 
to the most left hand side of the lane so I can turn left. Oh, yep. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh! It sped up. It. Wow, it accelerated so that he. Oh, not he. It accelerated so the car has enough room to turn left because there was another car behind us. Oh! <laughs> the future is here. This is insane. My car is driving on its own. Pay attention to the road, yes, sorry. Uh, just then, I got a little warning uh, on the screen saying that I should be uh, focused and keep an eye on the road. I'm assuming we're using the uh, internal camera to detect if I'm looking straight ahead or being distracted doing different things. Obviously, because I'm mind blown right now, I'm just so much expressions and things going inside my head. It's just crazy. Um, but yeah, I should keep an eye on the road. So Tesla's um, full self-driving supervised is ADAS level two, um, which stands for advanced driver uh, assistance system. The total of six levels, all the way from level zero, all the way to level five. So zero, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six levels. And this is level two. Level two means um, you need to, you know, you need to supervise and you need to have someone at all times and be ready to take over at any given point because it's not ready for that full autonomy where you don't require any human. Okay, it's still going very smoothly. <laughs> oh, yellow, yellow light, okay, well done. Good, good, good Olaf, good, <laughs> well done. It's a very different feeling because a few months ago I was in San Francisco and I was, I was in love with Waymo's. I got on Waymo every single time I had to go somewhere that was more than a 20 minute walk and I loved it. I felt safe and I loved being in there without anyone and I loved how it was driving itself. I was really comfortable on my final ride, which was about 30 minutes. I fell asleep for about 12 minutes and I was totally fine. Okay, pause on that. Um, this road, it doesn't have no lines, no markings, nothing, not even a middle lane. It is totally fine. I am not driving. I, I am not doing anything. It's thinking itself. It's making decision itself. It's slowing down, doing everything. Yep. That car didn't even blink to turn right. Oh. <laughs> Narrow road no line markings, their car incoming. So what I would normally do is slow it down so that you can let the, let the car pass and then uh, proceed. It did exactly the same thing. This is the destination I need to pick up my wife. There she is. She doesn't know I'm not driving. <laughs> I am not driving it, it's turning itself. <laughs> All right, okay. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna park? Are you gonna park? Are you gonna park? Are you gonna park or are you gonna go? Oh, it parked. It parked. But obviously this one uh, isn't great because Olaf parked right in front of someone's driveway. So we're just gonna go back. <laughs> What a great success. I'm currently on a motorway and it's going very smoothly, but then again, autopilot handles this very well anyway. Um, but it just, I just feel a little bit more confident in how the car is driving and behaving because it's, um, it's driving on full self-driving supervised. Right now, it hasn't been rolled out to public yet. It will soon be available. We don't have the exact dates yet. Hopefully they'll roll it out to public so you can feel what I'm feeling just like all other people that's using full self-driving around the world because it is, for me, it is truly magical. Your, your, the car you have purchased is driving its own from destination to destinations 
and you get to be slightly more relaxed, enjoy the scenery and just let it do its own thing. And it's doing very, very well. So far, I think 45 minutes of driving, the only thing that I would point out that I had to intervene was school zone. Here in Australia, we have school zones where you need to reduce your speed down to 40 kilometers per hour. But you only need to do that at specific time of the day and also during weekdays. Or during public holidays and school holidays, you don't need to slow down at all. But as soon as a car recognizes the 40 kilometer per hour sign and also the school zone, it just slows down immediately. So hopefully that will be fixed in the new, new versions or updates, but that's the beauty of it, right? Uh, with Teslas, this is not it. It's, it's constantly updating and um, evolving. So with a lot of Teslas out there in Australia, and as we collect more data of how we drive and our road situations and environment, it's just going to be continuously getting better and better. Really looking forward to it, and I'm loving the full self-driving experience so far. I hope you get to experience it very soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.